All right, guys. Uh, so we're gonna do a couple videos. I know I'm really behind. I apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a feeding ball python video here really quick. Uh, do the best I can with one hand feeding and the other hand uh, doing the camera. Hopefully, I don't get drilled. But if I do, I guess that makes for a good video. Uh, at least for some, you're probably gonna crack at it. Um, we're gonna do just a couple other videos. We're gonna do a breeding video. Uh, what goes into the breeding season coming up for ball pythons and also leopard geckos. Uh, and then uh, we had a lot of people request a parasitology video, so we're going to get to that too. Let me grab my rats over here. Alright, so basically, we got these uh, small to medium sized rats in here that have been thawing overnight, and I just gave them a quick a, uh, warm water bath. We clean them off and then also get them a little bit heated really gets the uh, guess juices flowing you must say with these ball pythons hey. come on sweetheart I gotta close the bin so some of you might find this video interesting but this is basically what it's gonna be we're gonna show you what we do when we feed the ball pythons Some might be hungry, some might not be. All right. You're not interested. This is our Enchi male. Not too interested. Pastel het orange ghost having a little getting ready to go into shed, so not too interesting of a video so far. Apologize. <laughs> Yellow belly female. Again, getting ready to go into shed. Boy, we are striking out today. No pun intended. We'll come back through and give those guys another shot, see if they're interested. You need a small one. We got different sizes here too. Let's see if I can get this water bowl without getting railed. There's a heck clown hiding in the back here. She's really shy. Yeah. They give that little strike like that. It's more of a defensive strike than a I want to eat strike. So there's no sense to keep stressing them out. This girl looks definitely ready to go. There we go. That's a yellow belly. Sorry about the camera. To get that off before. Got a bunch of yellow belly females were growing up. We will close that once I get a hand free. There's another yellow belly that is going into shed. Yep, a lot of stuff shedding. You're going into a shed. Let's check out this albino male. Uh, of course, you went to the bathroom and the back of your cage. We will clean after this. There he goes. Some of them are much better strikers than others as far as aggression. Some will come all the way out of the cage, some won't. Don't worry, we got a lot more down here to feed. Try and speed this up just a bit. Our pewter male, he's hiding. At the very least, you get to see a lot of stuff. This is our pewter, Cine pewter male. Again, getting ready to go for a shed. Boy, did I pick a horrible time to make a, a video <laughs> on this. It's our Het Lavender Albino male. He's almost always good for a meal. There you go. Mojave.
Also getting ready to go in the shed. Boy. There he goes. Now, we only feed frozen thawed here, so you'll notice some of them I'm really uh, shaking the rat to kind of get them uh, get them going because they, they're pretty new at the uh, wow, and the butter's even shedding. We might have to make a better feeding video for you guys later on because these guys are all their butter mail for next year. Black pastel is not too interested. Alright, let's go to some of the gals, the bigger gals. That's your spider, probably won't breed this year, but we're growing up for another year. Right. And yes, she's a little wonky, little, but she's a good eater. No problems eating. Sorry, it takes me a little, little longer to reload. It's our albino male, or female, I'm sorry. Really pretty albino female. You notice we do keep them on um, this packaging like tape, or not tape, packaging cardboard type uh, substrate. Works very good for cleaning. Oh, you missed it, sweetheart. There you go colors on this girl is amazing. So we're getting ready for the ball python season which is uh, coming up here we're going to start lowering the temps in the next uh, you know probably another 40 days. This girl's a live feeder that we've recently got switched over so probably not that interested. Not yet thing with her. Pastel female. Big pastel female. There she goes. This girl actually laid us nine eggs not too long ago. Beautiful pastel. And we got a bumblebee. Large bumblebee which we will most likely be breeding this year. Hopefully we get a couple more grams on her yet. Now notice we're not feeding these guys, you know, huge large rats, which we really could. Orange ghost female. Bam. Out of your water bowl. Nice big orange ghost female we'll be breeding this year. Oh, that girl's right up ready to eat. This is a head albino female. Oh, come on, you were right there wanting to eat, and now you're giving us whoo! One heck of a close up. And we got some normal gals. That gal was just. Yeah, she might eat. She just got off of a shed yesterday. Another huge normal female, which we're getting ready for this year. Oh, you made a huge mess. So, this cage, I apologize, is dirty. She just pooped back there. I'll take care of that right after this film. It happens, they do poop. We do our best to keep them clean right after they poop, so. Oh, you look very interested. There you go. So after she feeds, we will take care of that. You can see our piebald male. This guy was a live feeder for most of his life. And we just recently got him to take these frozen thawds very, very well. 